Rev up your engines! Brake pedal sinking to the floor when you step on it. Down she goes to the floor. Well, then today's your lucky day because I'm going to show you how to fix a brake pedal that's sinking. Now, brake pedals sink for two main reasons they either lose pressure from an external or an internal leak. So, the first thing you do is crawl under the vehicle, look at the brake caliper, see if it's leaking, or see if the rubber line is leaking. In this case, they're dry. And of course, you have to check all four wheels front and back. Now, the back brakes on this Toyota are drum brakes. If they leak, they'd be wet on the bottom, but the left side is bone dry, and so is the right side, so it's not leaking back here. Now, of course, you look under the vehicle to see if any of the lines are leaking, but unless you live in an area where there's a lot of salt in the winter, the lines don't generally rust because they're made out of steel. So that leaves us with a possible culprit of a leaking brake master cylinder that's leaking inside itself. And as you can see, this master cylinder lost its cap. Somebody put a piece of plastic, and when air gets into the system, it often ruins the master cylinder seals. So it's time to hop in the old car and get a new one. And here we are. And here's a mechanic's tip. Buy a brand new quality master cylinder. Don't buy a rebuilt one. Because the rebuilt ones don't last long and sometimes don't even work right out of the box. And the cheap Chinese knockoffs often aren't any good either. In this case, I got a brand new master cylinder. It's made in Japan because this is a Toyota. Now, first, you loosen the lines. In this case, it's a 10 millimeter flare wrench. You just hit it a couple of times and then it's loose. Then, finish taking the line off with your thumb and finger and pull it out. And of course, do the same for the back line too. So you got them both off. These flare wrenches are great for taking lines off. In this case, it was a 10 millimeter flare wrench. Then there's two bolts you have to take off. They're 12 millimeter. Just stick on a socket and pull them off of the wrench. Just keep turning until you get the two bolts off. Then do the other side. Then with a little wiggling, the whole thing comes off. Then get the new master cylinder and bolt that on. It just fits over the two studs and then bolts back on. And now comes the tricky part, bleeding the air out of the lines. First, you fill it up with fluid. Just take the top off and pour fluid in. Then get the brake lines and put them on and make them just a little bit loose. That's so the air can bleed out when you step on the brake pedal. Now, I work by myself, but being a mechanic, I have power bleeding tools. You can use a screwdriver, though, like this. With the brake lines open, you get the screwdriver, put it on the brake pedal, then pull the seat up. Ugh. That pushes the brake pedal down, and then you can tighten the lines. You just get a wrench and tighten them until they don't tighten anymore. Then when you pick up on the brake pedal, it won't suck air into the system. Just pull it up, then loosen each line a couple of turns, and then repeat the process with the screwdriver on the pedal four or five times until all the air is out. And now we got a nice hard pedal, hard as a rock. So the next time your brake pedal is giving you a sinking feeling, fix it yourself. And remember, if you have any car questions, just visit scottykilmer.com.